<laughs> All right, now this. Our next guest is here to announce the first of its kind fingernail sensor which can help manage disease. Come in, Dario Gill or Dario Hill. IBM Research Chief Operating Officer, I just killed your name, sorry, I'm Vice President of AI and Quantum. That's quite a title. Dario, uh, welcome. Thank you for Thank being you. here. I'm absolutely fascinated. We we're talking about this story. What can analysis of fingernails tell you when it comes to health? Actually, they reveal quite a bit. So what we've developed is a miniaturized sensor that attaches to your fingernail. It turns out when we do everyday activities like, you know, grabbing a cup of coffee or opening the door mm. or putting the key into something. Right. Those everyday activities uh, tell us actually something important about our health. And the way the fingernail deforms and the strains associated with it as we do those yes. actions, they move very, very little, a few microns, right? The width of a human hair is 50 microns. Oh my goodness. But it turns out that with this sensor, we can detect this previously invisible signal. And from there, applying machine learning on top of that, we can detect things that have to do with motor coordination. So for example, a tremor or things of that sort. Right. So if you're being treated for Parkinson's disease or there's a new drug that is being tested, we would be able to decouple from that tiny, tiny signal that is in our fingernails oh how well that's working. Could it provide a warning sign to say cardiovascular, something like that? Could you look that's at the fingernail and say, watch out? That's right. So, so I think what is beautiful about it is that we have signals in our world mm -hmm. and in our bodies that we don't see. And through technology, we can discover those, and it can give us this early warning system. So the combination of sensing what was invisible plus machine learning can tell us something about fundamental that is going on. And these little sensors sit on top of the nail or under the nail? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> on top of the nail. Definitely on top of the nail. Painful. You can just uh, attach it on top of the nail. And uh, so while some testing is going on, you can carry, you can go about your everyday life. And then you can Are these, is this available to, to doctors now, or is this just in the yeah. early this is, stages of yeah. being developed? This, this is an advance from the IBM Research Division. So it's just, it's just we just published a scientific piece of work. We've created the base technology to do it. And then now that we have this, our goal is obviously to bring it to life. Another one for you. Uh, artificial intelligence uh, that can debate trained human debaters. You're yeah. de you've developed that. So a robot, or whatever you want to call it, can quite actively debate a human. Yes, that's right. So this has been in the field of AI, there's been this wonderful tradition of pursuing grand challenges, whether build a machine that can play chess or play on Jeopardy. <laughs> and uh, so we created uh, a system for the last six years that can engage in a full life debate with a human being. And adapt, of course, to wherever yeah. the conversation goes. Yeah, so, so here's what it does, right? You, you give it a motion. Let's say you want to debate something. Like, I don't know. We should ban the use of drones in cities. Like, right. You know, let's just say that. So given that motion, just with one sentence, it has to generate a four-minute opening speech. So write an essay and deliver it, essentially. The human then delivers a four-minute, their four-minute right. speech. The system has to be listening for four minutes and create automatically a four-minute rebuttal oh of what was gosh. said. They're going to rule the world one day. You know that. Dario, thank you so much for being here. Fascinating stuff. Really thank you. My pleasure. Appreciate it.